A few months ago, Nollywood's paranormal movie Sylvia screened in Paris to warm reception. The Daniel Oriai directed thriller finally arrived in our June box office with a well attended premiere in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. Actresses Ine Dimma Okoje and newly married Zena Balogun exchanged pleasantries at the guest foyer at the world premiere of the critically acclaimed paranormal thriller Sylvia. Zena, who plays the title character, dons a royal blue see through neck top, while Ine, who starred directly opposite her, poses for the cameras in a blood red short dress with an off shoulder arm. This premiere, which is also attended by other cast and crew, follows a successful screening at the Nollywood Film Festival in Paris, and according to executive producer, the thriller brings a freshness to the Nigerian cinema. A lot of people have told me that it's a bold move, you know, but I've always had the belief that the Nigerian audience, you know, stand, has a, a variety of tastes, that it's not just romantic comedies that people want to see, and I feel if you present them with something they can relate to in a way that they can relate to it, I, I think it will do well. So. I'm optimistic. From the first day, you took your first breath. I have loved you. And nobody. Sylvia follows the supernatural you. story of the chain of events that ensued after a man opted to end his lifelong you, relationship with a lady in his dreams to settle for How his real I life love interest. I may not be a real woman, but you will never find anyone like me. After the screening, the cast and crew were applauded by the audience. Zainab, who played the scorned spiritual lover, explains how she embodied the vengeance thirsty title character. After what you did! And you need to go somewhere. Revenge is like an art form, and I am like Picasso on steroids! <laughs> I mean, it took a lot of preparation working with Daniel, who is an amazing director. He gives you a lot of rope as an actor to just flesh out your character. Um, and in bringing Sylvia to life, we had to build who she was. So her history, where she is now, what she feels, how she screams, how she smiles. Um, so we put all of that together to just bring a character that is relatable. And the good thing about her is that as a woman as well, every woman can identify with um, heartbreak, which is what happened to Sylvia. She just got a little bit too extra. Um, but yeah, as a woman, I can connect with that. And I hope that came out on screen. Feel what the character feels. Um, like I said before, as a woman, I know what it's like for a man to break my heart. I know what it's like for a man to go and be with another person and have to watch them and to feel lonely. So all those years of old boyfriends that pained me, it made it easy for me to just, you know, bring all of that out. So, do these celebrities believe in the supernatural? No. <laughs> Not really, to be honest. I mean, I have faith in God, but in terms of spooky, jazzy things, not necessarily. I do. Um, so as a Christian, I mean, you've got to believe in the good and the bad. Um, everything balances out in life. So I, I do. I believe that there's another side somewhere. I believe in the supernatural in the sense that, you know, there is a higher power, you know. But the manifestations of this, you know, higher power, you know, tends to be in different ways. So, uh, my own belief is a bit limited to, you know, to more of religion and, and stuff like that, you know. But we've heard stories. You can't be in Nigeria and not hear stories. <laughs> Sylvia is written by Vanessa Kanu, who is inspired by a personal experience of seeing the same individual in her own real life dreams. I had a series of dreams where I was meeting one character over and over and over. So I wondered what would it be like if one could actually become friends or relate with someone from their dream. And then what if this person from the dream side could also cross over? And what happens when, you know, there's conflict between the two of them? And that's how Sylvia was born. So um, how detailed is um, your dream compared to... No, 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 no. This is not... You didn't just watch the dream. Let me be very clear. It was an element of seeing one character in your dream every, every single time you go to bed. So that's the element I took from it. No, you didn't just watch my dream, sorry. <laughs> Come here and ask me for help after what you did. And you need to go somewhere, okay? So I know you're safe. Safe? From what? First, I asked you to get rid of those bloody hibiscus. Now I'm asking you to do not raise your voice at me. I 
will not be Revenge is like an art form, and I am like Picasso on steroids. <laughs>